Draconid Meteor Outburst, presented by Science at NASA. Have you ever felt like the sky is falling? On October 8th, you might be right. Earth is going to plow through a stream of dust from Comet 21P Giacobini Zinner, and the result could be a storm of Draconid meteors. We're predicting as many as 750 meteors per hour, visible mainly over the Middle East, North Africa, and parts of Europe, says Bill Cook of NASA's Meteoroid Environment Office. Every six and a half years, more or less, Comet Giacobini Zinner swings through the inner solar system. With each visit, it lays down a narrow filament of dust, over time forming a network of filaments that Earth encounters every year in early October. Most years, we pass through gaps between filaments, maybe just grazing one or two as we go by, says Cook. Occasionally, though, we hit one nearly head-on, and the fireworks begin. 2011 could be such a year. Forecasters at NASA and elsewhere agree that Earth is heading for three or more filaments on October 8th. Multiple encounters should produce a series of variable outbursts beginning around 1600 Universal Time with the strongest activity between 1900 and 2100 Universal Time. Estimates of the meteor rate range from dozens to hundreds of meteors per hour. One respected forecaster, Paul Weigert of the University of Western Ontario, says the meteor rate could go as high as 1000 per hour, the definition of a meteor storm. It wouldn't be the first time. Close encounters with dusty filaments produced storms of more than 10,000 draconids per hour in 1933 and 1946, with lesser outbursts in 1985, 1998, and 2005. Meteors from Comet Giacobini Zinner stream out of the northern constellation Draco, hence their name. Draconids are among the slowest of all meteors, hitting the atmosphere at a relatively leisurely 20 kilometers per second. The slow pace of draconid meteors minimizes their danger to satellites and spacecraft and makes them visually distinctive. A draconid gliding leisurely across the sky is a beautiful sight, says Cook. Unfortunately, many of this year's draconids will go unseen. Glare from the almost full moon will reduce the number of meteors visible over Europe, Africa, and the Middle East by two to tenfold. The situation is even worse in North America, where the shower occurs in broad daylight from about noon to 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, completely obliterating the display. That isn't stopping a group of high school students from Bishop, California, however. They plan to observe the shower from the stratosphere, where the sky is jet black even at noontime. Led by science at NASA's Tony Phillips, the 12 students have been launching helium balloons to the edge of space since May of 2011. With more than 95% of Earth's atmosphere below the balloon, the sky above looks almost as black as it would from a spacecraft, perfect for astronomy. The students are going to fly one of our low-light meteor cameras in the payload of their balloon, says Cook. I hope they catch some draconid fireballs for us to analyze. They could be the only ones we get. Stay tuned for results after October 8th. For more news about things flashing in the night sky, visit science.nasa.gov.